What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna be resuming work on the C4 S4. Our new front mount intercooler finally arrived, so we're gonna get that installed, as well as bun up a few more odds and ends before we could get this thing on the street. After that, we're gonna begin the street tune-in process and take this thing out for its first drive after all of the work we've done. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is install this new Viber intercooler. It should be good for about 550 crank horsepower, which is more than enough right now. So we have the intercooler mounted. The next thing I want to work on is the hot side of the intercooler piping. So as you can see, the actual diameter is smaller than our intercooler, and it's kind of run in a not optimal fashion just because we have a ton of other stuff around here. Um, and we also have this delete right here where the uh, PCV was going in. So I just wanted to clean it up by uh, putting in all new piping, uh, route it optimally, and get it connected. Alright, so we have our old pipe right there, and I have some assorted two and a half inch piping that we'll be replacing it with. So I have some various bends and couplers and all that, so we'll just make something work and uh, make it a little bit shorter and cleaner than this existing setup. So after playing around with some of the piping and bends and such, this is what I came up with. It's quite a bit shorter, and that's just because the previous pipe went underneath the oil cooler, and this one's going above it. Um, hopefully that doesn't have any issues. Uh, with bumper mounting, but uh, I think we should be good. And there we have it. We have our piping all hooked up. It's going above the oil cooler. Um, I think it looks more direct. Uh, shorter piping looks pretty good. I went with the original finish. I just felt like it looked better than that shiny black. Eventually I'd like it all to be flat black um, and I also want to get a longer coupler. I ended up having a join too there. But overall I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. All right, we're pretty much done under the hood. There is one item I forgot to hook up initially and that was the alternator wire. So right now it's not charging the battery. So we'll get that hooked up real quick and then we have to install the tail lights and then we will get this thing on the road. Alright guys, it is finally that time. We are going to start up the S4, take it out for its first spin. Um, of course I'm a little nervous just because we've changed so much stuff 
and pretty much gutted out 95% of the car. Um, but the goal is just to go for a cruise, uh, make sure it feels normal. Uh, we'll log everything and make sure that the fuel is pretty close. Um, of course, we're gonna have to make adjustments. In terms of the time in, I just kept everything super conservative and we'll be running on the wastegate spring, so we're not gonna boost or anything like that. But mainly we're just gonna see if there's anything major that's wrong, uh, hopefully not. And we'll just see how everything feels. Let's go for a spin. Well, in typical classic Audi fashion, the car did break down. Uh, it's completely my fault. I forgot I charged the battery. Um, so I did stall when coming to a stop and I didn't have enough juice to restart it. So I needed to jump like a mile from here. Um, other than that, the car seemed to be doing okay. Um, steering, braking, IATs, coolant, that all looked good. The fueling was way off and I think that's just because uh, the battery voltage was so low that the injector scaling was way off. Um, so. We're gonna revisit this once we have a healthy battery um, and just iterate over the tune-in process. Not the best first try, but honestly, it could have been worse. So uh, I'm happy just to go up from here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.